What's up guys, David here and welcome to the FitPro Daily. I'm now back in not so sunny Wales, but this week has been all about automations and systems, being able to find ways that we can save some time, save some money, speed up the process by putting systems and automations in place to make our life easier. We started off on Monday with Ryan from Legit Fit, coming on to share his experience and what he does within his software company, what he's doing with uh, fit pros and personal trainers and business owners to put systems and automations in their business, plus what trends and things he's seen moving forward from the questions that he's been asked. Tuesday, we gave you five tips and a couple of ideas on different types of software. And then yesterday, we were talking about what is working for us right now in regards to making sure we send confirmation to let them know that we've got their details and then expectation, letting them know what's going to happen next, how to move forward now they've submitted their details. Today, though, something slightly different, but before we do dive into today's episode, if you haven't already subscribed, press pause, press subscribe, and then let's dive into the main episode. Okay, so automations and systems is, is a great thing, okay? It's gonna save you time, maybe make you more money, maybe make the onboarding process for your clients much, much easier. And we've talked about different types of software and different types of tools, but one system and automation we haven't talked about is staff. Now, staff makes the biggest difference when it comes to moving your fitness business forward. Because if you are just a one-man band, then you're doing all the lead gen, all the sales, all the follow-ups, all the consultations, all the client sessions, all the client uh, feedback and updates, all the client appraisal, doing all the bookkeeping, you're doing all these jobs, which is not giving you any time. And you know, I've been there, I've done that, okay? When I was working in Southampton, I had 35 clients all to myself, working six days a week, working like 60, 70 hours a week, having like no time off, because I was doing it all. But the minute I got somebody in to start chasing these leads, so I would do the ad, this lady Marie should call them up, get them booked in for the consultation. That saved me a load of time because I didn't have to spend hours, an hour, two hours every day calling prospects up and getting them booked in. That massively helped me because then what I could give back to my clients was much more. I could give that one to two hours I save there back into the clients and that would keep them more interested, getting better results, wanting to stay longer, more enjoyable from the program. The next step then would be taking on a personal trainer because by taking on another personal trainer, you can either completely step away from training or you can help even more people get the results and get the dreams that they want. So that's what we did. We took on another personal trainer. I reduced my hours in half. So I was only coaching about 15 hours a week then and doing a load of business stuff. And this guy that came in took another 40 hours of coaching. So that gave us 55 hours of coaching in total. Now, down here in Cardiff, where we are now, we've got two full-time coaches, both of them doing the coaching, chasing clients up, asking them about stuff when they're not coaching. We have Holly then, who is the gym manager. Her job is to supervise everything, make sure the coaching sessions are okay, making sure the staff are okay, making sure the clients are okay, making sure all the payments are okay, making sure the facilities are okay. And then we've got Shannon. She's the client care and sales manager. Her job is to chase all these leads, get them booked in, sell to them. Then once they're sold to, make sure they want to stay for us as long as possible by providing them anything they need so they're happy with the service that we're providing. And me? I have nothing at all to do with DK9 Fitness anymore. I literally go in once a week, have a staff meeting, have a chat with Holly, have a chat with Shannon, make sure the gym is running fine, and then we can move on to our next set of stuff. So in the next couple of months, we've got one unit in Newport, which we're looking at, which is going to be more of a personal training setup. And we've got another unit in Newport, which is going to be more for DK9 Fitness. And this is all because I've managed to step away from the fitness business, bring people in to give me more time to do the things that I wanted to do. So yeah, go and talk and go and get everything that we've talked about so far this week, including all the automation software, writing down everything that you need to put systems and automations in your fitness business to make it so much easier for you. But then start looking at ways that you can leverage other people's time to be able to give you more time back to be able to do what you're, you do best. Maybe you do best at coaching clients, you just love coaching clients, but you hate doing admin, hate doing paperwork, hate doing sales, hate doing Facebook ads and all this other stuff. So you don't need to do that. If you just coach, you focus on the coaching and you bring somebody in to do those tasks that you don't like or the tasks that take up the most of your time, you can do the stuff that you're the best at or the stuff that you enjoy doing. After all, it is your fitness business. 
I'm going to leave it there for this week, okay? If you have any questions at all, do let us know. Comment below, reach out, message us, and I'll speak to you all on Monday. Cheers.